when you're fishing from either the boat or the shore and hook a striped bass and, and you, you're planning to release these fish, you should treat them that way from the start. I mean, these are living things. They have to breathe in the water. They can be hurt. They have hearts and gills and circulatory systems, eyes, all things that they're going to need down the road. You know, if the whole point is that you're releasing fish, you want to try not to be hurting them. That's really kind of the whole point of releasing them. If we're going to try to catch and release, we have to be at least educated in some regard as to how to do that properly. One of the first things I like to do is make sure that I put the barbs down. So by putting the barb down, it's much easier for me to barely have to touch the fish, take the hook, back it out, and it falls right out of the fish in most cases. It's very important not to bend their, their jaw down. You can really hurt the fish by bending their jaw down. If you're not going to take a picture, you want to get them back in as quick as possible. And if you do decide to take a picture, you know, have the guy ready before you take the fish out of the water. Get the guy with the camera ready, then bring the fish up, take a couple shots, and get them back in the water as quick as you can. When you handle a fish, if it's up against you, you re remove slime from its body, you can take scales off. These slime and scales are the natural armor of the fish against its, uh, the, the elements of the water. And so you, you, you want to not do that. If you can just touch them on that lip, that lip, especially on a striped bass, uh, God never made a better fish to release than a striped bass. You know, how, how your gear is set up and how you fight a fish is almost as, as important as how you release the fish. You really want to make sure that you get the fish in quickly. You want to have a drag that is set, you know, not too loose, not too tight. You want to be able to, you know, bring it in in a, in a quick manner and not play it to death. Doing that and releasing the fish properly, you know, really will help the fish survive. Uh, now you've got the fish to you and we have to release it and set it on its way. It wants to be out of the water as little as possible and hopefully not at all. Recreational uh, angling is, is a huge percentage of the fishing mortality for striped bass. But I, I see people releasing fish by um, you know, throwing them as if it's sort of garbage that they're trying to get away with. It's just they're obviously, you know, they're getting bruised on the rocks and things like that. And what the long-term damage to the fish is is unclear in any given situation. But obviously, if you make a habit of doing that, you're going to be hurting fish or killing fish that uh, that you don't want to kill. So that doesn't seem right. We want to have good striped bass fishing for everyone to enjoy. Catch and release fishing is an absolute reality, and so therefore we need to be as good at it as we can possibly be so that we preserve the species for all the people that want to enjoy it. There he goes.